one it is january 31st tuesday january 31st and i can't believe january is already done the first month of the year is over february is tomorrow and i have to start planning for patreon and for the next two months it's going to be a little bit difficult with patreon because one there's an upcoming shop update that needs to be done in hopefully a week or two and then there's preparation for an adachi con so that's gonna kind of affect patreon a little bit also when it comes to the stationery i made for example the memo pads i made five of the jackie rainy day memo pads five captain froggles a day at the palm memo pads two daily planners and two of the notepads that you saw me make last week and i decided those are the only ones that are going to go up for now in the etsy shop and once those are out those are out i decided that i am going to have to do it that way until after an adachi con if i want to have inventory for an adachi con because those take me so long to make and i want to see how they do in present or in person i have to make sure i start making inventory today's goal is to continue working on the patreon artwork and then after that i have to do the files for some upcoming future products that I talked about in the last studio vlog and then after that i could take shop photos also before the last studio vlog went up i reached a thousand subscribers and i want to thank you guys so much for that especially if you're subscribed to me it means a whole lot to me art prints they turn out nice for matte prints but going ahead in the future i will start manufacturing only glossy prints because for my art style the glossiness helps to enhance the simplicity of my artwork the print is on the wall here with all the other prints i have it's a little bit darker than what it shows on camera and this artwork right here is the first full illustration i ever drew and i am reimagining this piece redrawing it for patreon for february this is how it looks like so far. I did the sketch yesterday and it's not the prettiest looking sketch, but this time I'm gonna have her whole body and there's gonna be the fishes around her. And without the sketch, this is how far I've gotten. I'm about to look up a tutorial on how to draw rocks because honestly, I'm not good at drawing rocks. I'm happy I was able to get her full body done. I'm not the strongest when it comes to drawing bodies, <laughs> so it was very uh, scary to have her show this much skin. I had a lot of fun coming up with her outfit. For some reason, I'm really into the ruffles right now, and I came up with this outfit. I think it's really cute. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie. Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine and you. This is what I've learned from the tutorial I followed. This actually looks like rocks. <laughs> I've always had a hard time drawing rocks, but the tutorial just said just make it random, don't think about it too much. Letters when you're away Don't need any effort 
When we are together, we always have fun throughout the day. I do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you because all I need, all I need is you. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, and you guys, the art print or the artwork that I'm working on is totally kicking me in the butt. I'm having a hard time with it. And I know for a fact when I was drawing the artwork that I'm redrawing now, that back then it also kicked me in the butt. I had such a hard time finishing it in that artwork. Probably took me over a week or so to finish it. I struggled a lot, especially with the fish. And even now I'm struggling with drawing the fish because that's something I don't draw a lot. And I'm starting to notice that when I have too many small details, I start to freak out a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> I've drawn many, many different illustrations, but I think if you go back and look at it, they're all like bigger pieces of things for example for my winter patreon art print the one with the penguins on it of course there were a lot of elements there were penguins there was a snowman there was the lily pads the ice the owl and so on but then they weren't small little details they were like a decent size and i didn't have to draw like 50 million of them. I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it. I want to make sure that I make this piece the best that I still can even though there's all those details. This is where I'm at with it and the thing that's freaking me out a little bit is all these little leaves on her hair and then leaves or plants down here and then there's also the plants over here. Like I said I don't draw a fish. Oh there's supposed to be a jellyfish here. There you go. So I was working on all the fish yesterday. I even thought about making her hair shorter, but I thought I would give justice to the piece. Right now, I'm working on the outlines here to make sure you can see the individual pieces of the leaf. When I first drew this for the other piece, I thought of it like it was a laurel that she was wearing. And she's not like a mermaid or anything. It's just like a normal human girl chilling out with the fishes. And yeah, I still have a lot to do before I start rendering. For example, drawing all the little lines for the leaves. That's the most important part. And maybe a little bit of the details for the starfish up here. Still have to finish her feet down here. I just put up a poll on Instagram and on my community page on YouTube. And I'm thinking about live streaming either tomorrow or Saturday. Because I think having the live stream would help a lot with me staying on task and trying to finish the art print just having like those couple of hours live streaming it gave me some motivation so i need to try to figure out again how to live stream it's been a couple of months i'm going to try to figure that out right now before i start working some more on the print i need a break from it anyway so yeah let's try to figure that out to test to see if it's capturing the microphone it looks like it's working i use this program called prism live studio to go live on youtube here is the screen that's supposed to show when i go live and here 
it's this other screen which is like the starting screen and I can switch it from this scene to the other scene I think last time I forgot to switch to this on my last stream so my iPad screen didn't look that great on it <laughs> but yeah I'm going to reset all this and then I'll show you guys the setup Have the prison life studio set up so i connect to prison life studio by scanning a qr code with my ipad and then as you can see it has the same setup ready for the ipad and then over here i have the youtube where you live stream right now it's on private so no one should be able to see it and if you can see this i'm sorry right now i'm just testing to make sure when i click on things that it's responsive I'm choosing different colors on the wheel. I'm also choosing a different brush. And it seems to be doing fine. So it looks okay. So now I just have to see how I want to set up my webcam and so on. So this is the setup. It's not like the prettiest looking setup, but you do what you have to do. I have this light that's going to be facing towards me. Um, hopefully I don't get a headache from it. <laughs> with the light being in my face the whole time. I have my microphone here on top of some cardstock and some, what is this called? This is the thing people, chipboard. This is the chipboard I'm gonna be using eventually to try on the cinch, the mini cinch. But yeah, I don't have a good setup for the microphone, so that's how it is. Here is the layout for the stream. And here's my webcam. Just gonna close it. So hopefully everything will be fine when I do the live stream. Hello everyone, long time no talk. Today is Tuesday, February 7th and I finally finished everything, well, most of the stuff for Patreon. And I knew that it was gonna take a long time. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There'll be only one extra sticker this month and for sure next month because I need to start on the Etsy shop update and then Adashi Club stuff. So <laughs> that has to get done. And I'm actually going to start taking photos today. One of my most favorite things in the world to do. One day, if my small business grows, I am going to hire someone to do this for me because I hate it. It has to be done just because you own a small business just because you do art doesn't mean you have to love every single step i will also be working on the pinnacle club goodies later this week but i want to take a break from arting i am done with arting for now yeah let's get started on the shop update stuff
Today is Friday, February 10th. It's been a couple of days since I spoke to the camera, showed anything. Honestly, I haven't been doing anything too exciting to show. I finished editing the main photos for the products and I just have to eventually make the listings for them, put them up and so on. But yesterday I decided to take a break, especially because my husband and I were at the dentist for three hours in total. We both had an appointment but they were an hour from each other and yeah so we were there for three hours both in total and afterwards went to the grocery store, did some shopping, came home, made dinner and after that I actually did some more small business stuff that I wasn't planning to do but was really really important. Okay well there was one that was planned. For example, I was also planning to work on the Pendo Club goodies. While I was at the dentist, I did work on that a bit. And the other thing I got done was all my tax stuff for this upcoming tax season. I was going to work on product listings last night, but then I was like, you know what? I only have to fill out November, December, and some of October, because I did most of October and then had a few days left in October that needed to be done but you know what now that's all done so once tax season rolls around I don't have to worry about that I think my husband said we'll probably work on it this weekend so I'm really happy for that because when that comes I don't have to stress about it because it's all done and it's so nice to be ahead of the game this is the first year that I am ahead with admin so yeah, I'm happy that I've been keeping up with all that. I would like to say that this year I made some progress compared to the year prior. I'm going to quit babbling so we can work on the Pendo Club goodie, which is a deco sticker sheet. And I did go to sell at studio and have it prepped to be ready and cut already. But while I was thinking about it more, I thought about the fact that I can make it look a lot better because what I have right now is really really small and I think can make it a lot better we'll see I'm going to mess with it and then I will show you guys the difference between the two once it's done if I decide to go with the new one This is the first layout I did for the Deco Pendo Club sticker sheet for this month. Basically, I took elements of the artwork, broke them down, or I guess took them apart and put them on a sticker sheet like this. And they were all really, really small. Also put some of the color palette here, mostly the colors that I used the most because this palette is originally 30 colors. <laughs> so I wasn't going to put 30 circles. So I put down the colors I used the most here and yesterday when I was doing the Stella Studio I found that I can actually put them closer together this is how the other one looks now there's some bigger stickers of the fishes and the starfishes and so on and I think it looks a lot better than the other one so we're gonna go with this one I'm really happy with how they turned out. They look really, really good, really, really cute. This is perfect for bullet journals, journaling, or anything where small stickers thrive. So now I'm gonna take a photo of it and make a post about it on Patreon. This is the floor for the patio. That's how high the snow is. So if you would like some snow, please come and get it. <laughs> I'm tired of the snow and I have to clean that. This. My husband put that there. It's not my fault. Oh. Oh, my glasses. <laughs> I started the dishwasher not too long ago and it just finished. 
my husband's making some kind of fancy chicken mozzarella wrap so let's get it ready to go So this is what my husband made. It looks really good. He toasted the wrap and inside there's the chicken with the cheese. There's some spinach and some homemade sauce in here as well. Ooh. Oopsie. <laughs> it is Saturday, February 11th and I finally decided yesterday evening after I finished the majority of everything to do with Etsy listings that I will be launching the shop update on Monday, February 13th. I thought that I would probably do it sometime in the middle of next week, but I kind of forgot how fast it is to actually create listings, especially if you copy similar listings and then you don't have to fill out a lot of the details that you usually would have to. Most of that is done except for editing videos. I we took some of the product photos, so I would have to edit those but it's not too too bad so today after i finish filming this it would be double checking everything for the new 11 items for the shop update so very happy like a lot of weight off my shoulders i've been planning and working on these items since december i'm just happy that the first shop update is almost here and to tell you the truth Although I'm super excited to get my shop update up and running, something I have taught myself after having high expectations or some higher expectations than usual is that although I'm excited to have the shop update and I'm still kind of nervous, I don't expect there to be sales. And I'm not trying to say that in like a bad way, but there have been many times where I'm like, this shop update is perfect and I'm gonna get this many sales. But I have learned to not have that high of expectations because that's just how it has been when I've done a shop update. Now there's been some shop updates that have done well, better than usual. There are many factors that come in and I have to remember that, you know, like the economy, the prices of things are going up. There are a lot of artists who are also having shop updates this month. And maybe my products are not the type of products that people are looking to buy at the moment. I don't know if I'm conveying this very well, because I don't want to, I don't want to make it sound like I'm possibly ungrateful for how far I've come because I've definitely grown. Yesterday my husband and I actually did our taxes so everything that has to do with taxes this year is done. All we have to do is submit it when we're allowed to which is like the 20th of this month I think. And I'm not saying that to put myself down. Like I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying that I'm not trying to have high expectations based on other shop updates I've had. There have been many shop updates when I haven't had any sales and that's totally fine and although it did really suck and it did put me down, I don't want to let that get me down and stop me from working on my small business. I have been through that situation many many times and it's okay. I know it sucks. There's some people I've seen especially on social media who are like i know that everyone says that everything takes time but i've been doing this for so long and i haven't seen any progress and other stuff's very similar to that and and they also say that they're tired of people saying just take your time that t everything takes time i am just finally at a place in my small business that i feel like I'm doing okay. Just in general alone this year has probably been my best January ever in all my small business 
Etsy time on Etsy. <laughs> so, so far right now, for me, my small business is doing well just based on January alone. And then I'm also going to be doing a Dashikon, which is the end of next month. And I'm hoping that that will just make it even better for my small business. So I have really, really high hopes for this year. I'm really, really happy. I would tell you that I am an artist who has not grown as fast as others. I follow a lot of amazing, amazing artists and how fast they grow is definitely worth it for them because they work really, really hard. And I've also felt that I've worked really, really hard as well. But for me, maybe my artwork doesn't resonate with other people or maybe my story isn't resonating as nicely as other artists stories and it, it kind of sucks <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it kind of sucks but that's just how it is it's just now i'm starting to feel like my small business is getting somewhere now it's not like crazy big but it is a lot better than it was last year and last year maybe a few months after francization which is a few months after i started patreon in july was when i finally started feeling like my small business was starting to go somewhere and it makes me feel amazing and i know like there's still a lot of things that i would like to improve i hope that this story can just help you guys if you're in a place where you think like you're never gonna get anywhere you're never gonna grow how come all these other artists are doing so much better etc 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 i have thought of all that 500,000 times and the only thing that has saved me from quitting was my husband and being able to talk to my husband about all this stuff i've been able to grow a community of people who really enjoy my artwork who enjoy talking to me and who actually come to me when they need help with anything with artwork or small business it makes me really happy if you ever have any questions with small business art or anything they think i might be able to help with feel free to send me a dm on instagram i'd be more than happy to help you if i can i hope you enjoy this vlog thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye